everybody, Chris Grandy. We've got an update video here. Um, to go along with a theme I've been mentioning, I'm going to introduce it here as a short video, and I'm going to get a longer video later on this. But the idea I want to share with you is the idea that it looks like that after 10, 12 years of just you know passive investing being the way to go, the thing that everybody recommends, the thing that uh, easy way to make money, just throw the money in an index fund. It's looking to me like the next 10 years in the future, active management's really going to make make sense. You're really going to want to have somebody that you know good people that actually research investments rather than just buying the whole bundle index of, of the U.S. index. So um, that means as you know, in the past you buy an S&P 500 fund. You know, a lot of you know, a good twenty or thirty percent of that performance is the top five or ten stocks. But generally speaking, you know, the whole index is going up. We have these kind of macro forces pushing, pushing markets higher, Federal Reserve, etc. Going forward, I don't see those same tailwinds. And also, um, with the changing, this economy just changed really quickly with the virus thing. And I think you're going to see a lot of of disruptions, et cetera, more quicker than we saw them in the past. You know, before disruption was three, four, five, ten years. Now it's six to eighteen months at most. And so you're gonna, you know, there are gonna be real clear winners and losers in this economy. And I think that's kind of the idea that going forward, you're really going to be able to find investments that are gonna, uh, you know, do much better than other ones. And you're also gonna be able to pinpoint ones that are really, really sucking wind. And so therefore, I do believe that. You know, we did, and people should consider adding active investing, an active mutual fund, or an active money manager to their allocation, not just be 100% index funds. It's a theory uh, that I'm working on. I think it's starting to prove true here, but we'll see once we get past this whole thing where the market just kind of popped right back up, even though a good, you know, what would be interesting is, is if the Federal Reserve and their kind of last gasp here can push the market to new highs even when we know the economy is not at new highs, and which would be kind of ridiculous. I can see the market coming somewhat back, but generically the whole market, if it were to make new highs at the time when the you know, economy is still at best is going to probably operate at 80 or 90 percent at best, and the fact that the global economy wasn't doing so hot before the virus hit. You know, the U.S. was doing okay, but the global economy was eh, somewhat iffy. So with these things in play, I'd be very curious to see if the central bank influence can push this market up for a last hurrah. Then at that point, I'm actually seeing not a crash, but just kind of maybe sideways action, nothing too exciting for a decade. You know, 1970s type of stuff where you did have some crashes, ups and downs, but generally speaking, it was like flying over the Alps. Lots of ups and downs, but basically you were going in a straight line the whole time, going nowhere, not, not going up or down. And... Um, same thing, there were other decades like that, too. So uh, the, the most uh, recent one, well, 2000 to 2010, you know, we had a crash and it came back. But generally speaking, your average return was, was, was I think, zero or slightly negative on the S&P. And then 1966 to 1980. So we could be cycling into one of those situations where it's going to make a lot of sense to be actively choosing investments as opposed to just you know uh, going index and hoping. So just some initial thoughts I wanted to share with you. And when I'm going to follow this up with a more in-depth video, hopefully, but I uh, want to get this idea across, let you know that, I mean, this is the stuff that uh, I'm talking about with my clients and where we're going and where we already are. So uh, any questions, let me know. But uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, again, you know, the market, you, you got my window here. This I, I just put this up. This is the, you know, again, look at this. I mean, this last three, you know, we go back, um, you know, a few years in the market here. Let's go to the S&P 500. And man, you know, look at this. Last three years, you've gone nowhere. Now, again, we can make new highs, like I said, but this is purely pump pumping by a central bank. So let's see what happens. But I think a lot more of this is going to be what happens. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.